Hey and welcome back to Blindiere Flip. My name is Ian and this is episode 34 and right now we have nothing to show in the workshop which is why I'm outside talking to the camera a bit and uh, yeah explaining you what's going on and what's the next steps and why there hasn't been a video in the last couple of weeks. In the last weeks there has been some progress but no progress that I can easily show on a video. So this is kind of a vlog style video, the second vlog style video I make for the series of Building Lego Flip. In episode 30 we've shown that the book scanner actually moves and can turn pages which was awesome. But we've also discovered that the new stepper driver is actually a little bit too weak and it gets too hot and it's too dumb and it's really noisy. The new stepper driver is a lot quieter but in its current configuration it's also rather slow. We've exchanged the separate driver in episode 31 and shown that it basically works in episode 32. Unfortunately, uh, it's very complicated to program the new, the new separate driver. It has many, many options, for example, to detect a stall of the separate motor, for example, to set the decay modes of how fast the power should decay after a successful step, and then 20 or 30 other options that I have no clue what they actually do or what they are for. And because it's so complicated to tune and calibrate the separate driver in the correct fashion, um, Zaka decided to make a tool for that. This tool looks like this right now, and it's still in development, as you can see on, on some details that are not yet filled in. I don't understand half of these parameters, but when this tool is done and finished, then we are actually able to tune the separate driver in a way that it's hopefully fast, but also quiet and precise and smooth, uh, which is what we want. Showing software development isn't fun on a video, I know, and that's why it has been rather quiet and I haven't published a new episode. But um, this is kind of your update, uh, what's happening, and the, the new separate driver software is what we have been working on. As soon as this is done, we can tune the separate driver and integrate all the features we had in episode 30, and the next step, obviously, is to turn a page with the new separate driver, hopefully smooth and easy and accurate and precise. At least that's uh, the goal. Also, an open task that are still there to do is a new um, is what I said in episode 33, where I experimented with the reflections and the light, uh, and I want to um, make a couple more light holders in different spacings and heights, uh, with the hope of reducing the reflection even further, because I really don't want to rebuild the suction box. But if it if push comes to shove, and all the new light holder geometries don't work out then that's actually what I'll need to do to rebuild the suction box with a slightly different geometry. Um, that's what has been going on. In the last uh, episode I teasered that I might bring the book scanner to an event in December and I don't think that I'll be able to do that. I set as a goal for myself that I want the machine to be able to turn the pages reliably and because of this separate driver tuning software development I don't think we're going to get there in time and it would be very stressful to try to get something done until uh, then and I don't think that's worth it with an open source project that I'm doing in my free time. So I think this is going to be the last video or the second to last video for this year at least. I might be able to make a short video about experiments with the light holders and the reflection stuff um, but if not then please don't be mad at me and in that case I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and we're going to see each other in the next year. And if, this is, and if this is the very first video you are watching about this uh, open source uh, uh, DIY book scanner that I've been uh, building, then please check out the other videos in this longer series. This is just one video in a longer series where I show all the steps how I make the page turning open source book scanner called LibreFlip. If you're interested in following along uh, this project, then please subscribe to my channel. And um, I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.